Michael, welcome to the Digimedia Dude Expo coverage here at 2016 NAB. And uh, you're with Adobe and you're at the Adobe Edition booth. And uh, you're going to show us what's new with uh, Edition, right? Thank you. Thank you. Nice, nice to meet you. Uh, for this release, the Auditions team's goal was to simplify the audio mix process for new and novice users. And we created the Essential Sound Panel, which is in a very similar to uh, what we did in Premiere with the Lumetri color panel, where we uh, had a very intuitive, simplified, friendly uh, workflow uh, to help guide users to get a better, uh, better mix. So what you can do is, uh, I've got a uh, session here that came from Premiere Pro. Uh, they've wrapped the video edit there, so we'll move forward with the audio edit, and we can select these dialogue clips. Uh, I will assign what we're calling a uh, mix type. So our mix types are dialogue, music, sound effects, and ambience. So I've selected these uh, voiceover tracks uh, and set them as the dialogue mix type, and you'll see a small uh, indicator here, icon that So it's sort of metadata dialogue. you're attaching to it, like tags. Right, so you can Set those to uh, dialogue, and we've got uh, a lot of simplified parameters that will then uh, use Audition's uh, native effects and DSP to uh, analyze and guide users forward. So we can. So underneath those simplified commands, there's a bunch of complicated commands going on. There's a lot of DSP. There's a lot of effects going on in the background. And you're able to tweak those if you want to further. Correct. And let me show you that actually. Uh, let's first do an auto match, so that way we can get a, a standard uh, loudness here. So we have auto-matched uh, to minus 23 uh, LUFS, and you'll see that we uh, have the clip gain applied uh, icon there now, and we've increased it to uh, increase by 7 dB, and you'll see that it's the same on all clips. It's uh, voiceover from the same location. So of course, this would all be 7 dB. Uh, we do also have uh, the repair functions, the reduce noise, rumble, de-hum, de -esser, and probably what you would like to see is uh, what we're doing in the background and the plugins that. Well, beyond we're using. that, I had another question on for podcasters, people that aren't doing video, like we do a lot of podcasting. Okay. Uh, will that panel also, it's just for anything audio, right? It doesn't have correct. to have video as well. Yep, it will work for anything audio, you're correct. I see. So we could uh, just enable the dynamics uh, parameter. And we have very simple parameter, natural versus focused. If we then go to our dynamics processing uh, rack effect, and most users find this to be a little intimidating. There's a lot of parameters there. We've analyzed the clip in the background and determined where the best uh, settings would be for compression and expansion for the expander. And you'll notice if we move the slider here, it also it readjusts the back end. Correct. Right. Uh, if people want to find out more about it, adobe.com? Perfect. All right, Michael, thank you so much yep. for the overview. Appreciate it. Very welcome. Thank you.